We're back and we've got another haul. I am so excited about today's video. If you are new here, first of all, hello, my name is Jordan. Thank you for joining us. Today I have a massive, like absolutely huge Yes Style try on haul. I have never shopped at Yes Style before, but I've seen so many hauls on YouTube and I've always been really intrigued to try it out. So I placed this order a few weeks ago and I have been waiting patiently for the package to come in and it finally came in yesterday. If you guys are new here and you're not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and like this video if you enjoy because it really helps my channel. Guys, we have a ton to get through, like wasn't even exaggerating, so let's get on into it. The first piece of this haul is a shirt that I am obsessing over, so it's just this kind of mock neck crop top it's black as you can see but the coolest thing about this top is that it's a completely open back guys i'm a huge fan of like low cut backs or fully open backs so when i saw this on the website i was obsessed so basically there's like two strings on the side and it is ruched on the side of the fabric as you can see here you can adjust it and you just like tie the strings around your back it's obviously hard for me to show just like this but really, really cute. I got it in black because you can't wear a bra with it, obviously. So I figured, depending on how thin the material was, I didn't want it to be see-through, if you know what I mean. This is going to be a showstopper, incredible piece to have in my closet. First up, I'm obsessed. It fits me like a glove, like it was meant for me. And okay, we've got business in the front, but party, absolute rager in the back. Like, look at that, it's a complete open back and has a little bit of sidage as well, if that's something you're into. And you can kind of adjust how cinched you want it to lay. So you can lift it up a little bit, pull it down, it's all up to you. But I just think this is so beautiful on and I love a good mock neck. I did get a little bit of makeup on it, but it's fine. And it's also not see-through like at all, so very happy about that. Something I've been really into is fun prints and patterns. So I wanted to try out a top that's kind of out of my comfort zone because I'm trying to expand my style, if you will. So this is the next top I picked out. I wouldn't even know how to describe this print. Um, it's very random, as you can see, but I just think it's so cool and unique. And throughout the shirt, there are like little slits and like, keyholes if you can see um this is also kind of a crop top actually i don't know if this is a crop top but i guess we'll see when we try it on here she is in all her glory i think it looks so cute on i do realize this is not everyone's cup of tea but i just think it's so playful and like yolo you know what i mean you only live once so you might as well wear cool clothes and i think this top is so so cool the cinching on the sleeves is so cute love that detail and it just fits me really nicely. Once again, it is not see-through, but it is lightweight. There is also that cinching on the side, which I think is very, very flattering on. All in all, I call this a win. Next is something I have been wanting for months and months and months, and I might be a little bit late to the trend, but I don't care because I'm excited. I got myself a tennis skirt, so this is just a plain, white tennis skirt. I wasn't sure on what size I should get because uh, some of the reviews said it was true to size, some said to size up, so I got a, what did I get? Honestly, I don't even know what size I got because it doesn't say on the tag, but I will have everything linked below. It looks like it's gonna fit and the best part about it is that it is a skirt. So they have like shorts lining underneath. So if you catch, you know, a big gust of wind, you won't be showing anything, which is always a plus. So here's the tennis skirt. I'm so glad it fits me because I wanted this to work out so badly. Um, it is a little bit big in my waist because I did size up, but I would rather size up than it to be way, way, way too tight. So there's a little bit of room in my waist, but I mean, nothing a little dessert won't help, you know? So like I said, I've been loving prints and patterns, and when I saw these, I knew I needed to have them. There was like a sign from above that I needed to add to cart, so I did. Um, but these are unbelievable. They are zebra print, pan bleh, zebra print pants. Like, come on, let's give them a moment. They are high-waisted. They look quite high-waisted, which I love. The more high-waisted, the better. And they are like a straight leg pant, which is 
new for me because I don't think I've really dabbled into the straight leg pant trend, um, but I really do enjoy it. So I am so stoked about these. I don't know, I feel like I'm just gonna be the coolest person in the room when I have these pants on. It's confirmed, these are my new favorite pants ever. Look at them, I feel so sick in these. I love them, they fit me really, really well. They're a little bit big in the waist, but I do have like button snaps I can just add in to cinch it a little bit. But as far as the rest of the pant goes, it fits my bum and my thighs like perfectly and my hips. Here's full length, they are slightly too long, but if I wear with heels, we'll be good to go or a little like platform sandal. I think they're so cute. I'm well aware it's April and the weather's getting warmer and summer's approaching. However, I'm a sucker for a good sweater and I have been seeing like the House of Sunny sweater, I think it's called, House of Summer. I don't know, I think it's House of Sunny. And this is like a dupe for it, if you will. So I just thought it was really cute and picked it up. It has a bunch of different colors in it and you can see there's like a little hint of neon green here, which I think is fun. And it has little acrylic buttons down the front. You can unbutton it and wear it open or you can wear it buttoned up like this. Here is the sweater on, I love it. It kind of reminds me of like, an old granny sweater, but in a cute way, you know? I don't know, I absolutely adore it. The sleeves are a little bit long on me, but I am also smaller than the average human. So I think if you are average size, like five, four and up, you're good to go. The colors are so cute, even with it buttoned up like this, I think it's adorable. This would be really cute with a white skirt or white pants. We've got another W in the house. I feel like a lot of you watching are gonna disagree with me on this, but I have been loving patchwork pants. I think they're so fun. They're so wacky, you know what I mean? But I mean, I feel like anything goes nowadays and I'm into it, so you know, it is what it is. But I got two pairs of patchwork pants. The first one is something I actually had on my Christmas wish list. So they just are this straight leg patchwork pant. I got them in this three-tone of pink, purple, and like a white creamish. These look like they're gonna be a little bit big, sadly. I believe I sized up in these because that's what the reviews recommended. Either way, I think they're fun and you know, even though summer's coming, I feel like you can wear these throughout the summer with like a cute crop top or something. Here are the pants on. Um, definitely big in this area. I don't even know what you would call that. The waist fits me well, but this area is a little bit baggy. Um, I think I can get away with them because I have been wanting these for a long time. Um, and they are super long on me. Like I folded them over if you can see a little bit. I fold them over because that's probably where I will cut them because they do have a frayed edge at the bottom. So if I just cut them with a pair of scissors, they will fray up themselves in the wash. I don't know, these are right in my alley with the pink. You know, I love my pastels. A little disappointed they're slightly big, but I feel like I'm gonna wear them anyways and just make do. And then the other pair of patchwork pants I got are even funkier than the previous, but I dig them. So they are just this green patchwork pant. I know I said it before, I'm not the biggest fan of green, but I'm starting to warm up to it. And this kind of green isn't obnoxious. I'm sorry to anyone who likes green, but it's not really my cup of tea. But again, slowly growing on me. I thought these were really, really cool. So there's like plaid and then there's like, um, I don't even know what this print is, but it looks like bandana print. Um, and then there's another type of plaid down there, and it just kind of does that throughout the whole pant. These are so fun. I love them. Um, the waist is a little bit big, but the rest of it fits perfectly. So I just added one of those little like button pins and solved the issue. But oh my god, they're so weird, but like in a good way. I know my mom's not a fan of them, but I, I really like them. Once again, they are a little bit long, but I feel like I can make it work and I don't need to hem them at all. They're a little big right here, but it's fine, I'll make it work. Another really big fashion trend right now is like Y2K vibes and everything is kind of coming back in style, but one of the things I've been loving are the cute little 
tank tops, like the crop tops, because I always love a good crop top. So I got a few Y2K crop tops. So this first one is just the cutest little like mesh top. So as you can see, it's like a floral print and it's like this baby yellow, like a pastel yellow, and then it has um, light pink trim detail at the top um, and it is like a two layer so the top layer is like mesh and then underneath it's just white. So here is just what it looks like on. I am obsessed with this. I do have a bra on underneath but honestly I feel like I could get away with no bra. It is a little bit see-through obviously because it's mesh but I just think this is so girly and cute and just like the easiest thing to throw on this summer. And then as far as the straps go, they are actually perfect. They're not too long. Um, so I just pulled it down a little lower in the back, but it is slightly cropped. It lands around my belly button. Um, but yeah. I also got another top that's like a very similar style, but this one is a cow print, so it's black and white. I love this one. I think it's so cute and big fan of prints. I feel like prints are really in right now and just a fun way to spice up an outfit. These straps are slightly different than the other ones, but again, they're not adjustable. Okay, I'm officially in love with this one. I think I like this one better than the floral one, but I don't know, it's just so cute. Fits me perfectly. This one is a little bit more cropped than the other one, um, and it's not as see-through, but as you can see, the cow print is looking fine has like the similar neckline and I don't know this one just fits me so so well figured that these tank tops would fit me fine because I don't know you can't really go wrong with crop top sizing and then the third little crop tank top I got is just this baby blue one it kind of looks like a satin material it's just this beautiful baby blue color I really really enjoy it and then it does, again, have the lace trim at the bottom and also at the top. It seems like these just keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller as I try them on. But this one I would say definitely size up in because this is definitely the smallest of the three little tank tops I got. It's still super cute. I just don't especially love having my entire stomach out. This fabric also stretches the least out of the three. The material isn't super stretchy, but it's stretchy enough to get it on. Um, and I have a feeling that this material isn't going to be very breathable. So keep that in mind if that's something that you really look for in a tank top. I promise this is the last print I will be showing you guys, but I did pick up one dress. I'm not really sure where I'm going to wear this yet, but I really like it. So it's just this baby blue little slip dress. It has little flowers throughout. It kind of reminds me of like a Hawaiian print and it definitely gives me Y2K vibes as well. It is spaghetti strap at the top, um, and then it does have like this extra little string that you can tie into a bow. But the thing that really got me on this dress was that it has this little slit at the bottom on the left side. I think this is a really fun detail and will make the dress a little bit more playful. Here is the dress on. This is definitely like out of my comfort zone, not something I usually would buy but life's all about taking risks, taking chances. So, I mean, I'm actually surprised about this dress. I actually really like it on. This is about the length it falls on me, um, but there's the fun little slit, which we love. Um, and then this is just what it looks like from the back. Just like a simple bodycon dress, especially once I have a nice tan going on. I think this color is going to be really really beautiful. Another trend I'm a little bit late to but I'm here don't worry I've made it is the sweater vest trend. So I did just get this like oatmeal colored sweater vest. It's very very thin so I can wear this in the summertime I feel like. This is a great piece for not only layering but you can wear it on its own as well. Um, and I wanted to stick with a neutral color because I don't think I'm going to be buying a ton of these. And neutral is always a safe bet because you can style this a bunch of different ways. So yeah, very, very basic. The material is very soft. So I think this is going to be very comfortable to wear. Here's the sweater vest on. I feel like a total prep right now. I am loving it so much. 
I'm so happy I got like a neutral color because this is going to be incredible for a bunch of different looks and I can also add a pop of color if I want. Yeah, this one is so comfortable and the material is so lightweight so like you can wear this in the spring and summer. As you guys have probably gathered, I'm part of the itty bitty titty committee. I don't have very much going on up here, which is totally fine by me, but I like to take full advantage of that. I live in bralettes and like long sports bras and stuff like that, so I got these really great little bralette sports bra tops, if you will. So it just looks like this. I got it in this beautiful like chocolate brown color because as you know, brown is super on trend right now, so it does have a little bit of padding on the inside, but you can also remove them if you want and then the back is just like a scoop back so it's a very low back here's the little bralette on I'm a huge fan of this it's so nice and fitted like this thing is not going anywhere I would say though that this is not super supportive so if you are bigger chested I would not recommend this but if you are smaller chested like myself this is incredible, you need it. Here is just like the neckline. It's like a V-neck, but almost like a scoop V-neck, if you will. This is just what the back looks like. It is a very low scoop neck, so it is pretty much an open back, which I love. And then I did also get that top in another color. This is more of like a rust burnt orange color, which I'm a huge fan of at any time of the year. I don't know, I really like the bralette and I thought why not have it in two colors? Once again, here is just the top in this like burnt orange color. I mean, I have all good things to say about this bralette. I haven't really like exercised in it yet, but just from wearing it, I can tell it's going to be very secure and it's not moving an inch. Big fan, big fan. Next is just this cute little neutral skirt. So it's just like a straight leg skirt. And this one is a skirt as well, just like the tennis skirt. This one has a cute little slit on the side. You could make this like a business casual look or you can dress it up and make it more playful. And then it does just have a zipper in the back. I really, really like this skirt. It does fit me nice in the waist and everywhere else. I just wish it wasn't so high-waisted because it's basically up to my rib cage right now. Um, and then it does have, once again, the little slit right here in the side, which I think makes a world of a difference. And it's very, very easy to style a skirt like this. I got a pair of leather pants. These are definitely different than I thought they would be because they're much thinner. They are high-waisted and they are, once again, a straight leg pant which I'm trying out, but I've been a huge fan of leather, pleather pants, leggings, all of that jazz, so I wanted to just try these out, and I feel like these would be really great in the summer as well because they are thin. Alrighty, so I'm a little bit indifferent about these pants because they are quite tight in my thighs, and I just feel like I don't have the body type, or maybe I should have just sized up one. Um, but like as you can see they're they're very very tight. They fit my waist, but I don't know. Let me back up So I'm on my tiptoes right now. They're a little bit long I probably have to take a couple inches off, but I don't know. I mean they're cute But I don't know if they work on me like are they flattering on me, you know? I'm a little bummed. I wanted these to work out. Mm. I did get a little dicky. I think that's what they're called It's like a fake collar just so that I can have a little bit of an accent underneath my shirts and crew necks and stuff like that but not have to wear an entire shirt so it just takes off a layer and I've been wanting one of these for a while as well so I just got this white basic color one and then lastly I just got this little pink acrylic claw clip I love claw clips I will always wear them even if they go out of style um, and this one is pretty sturdy actually, so it will hold my hair up nicely. But that is everything for this haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what your favorite item was that I got in this haul. And thank you again to YesStyle for sending me all these clothes. And everything will be linked down below if you are interested. But I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.